It's a real pleasure to join you today to celebrate five years of PEBEC, an initiative which, as you've heard, uh, the President established in 2016 to solve a malignant problem, the problem of a business and trading environment that many agreed was hostile and difficult for local and foreign investors alike. So the long and short of the mandate of PEBEC was simply to find ways of changing the growing reputation of Nigeria as a challenging business environment. How were we to do that? It seemed quite simple, to remove the bottlenecks and obstacles and to seek to change the orientation of regulatory authorities and public servants who interface with businesses seeking government licenses, approvals, and other uh, regulatory requirements. It was always going to be a difficult task. And I think uh, Dr. Duwali already alluded to most of those initial challenges. The public service and government agencies, of course, are notoriously settled in their ways. And generally, there has never been any sense of urgency in processing licenses and approvals. The attitude, of course, ties well with the systemic corruption and abuses that follow when public officials have a discretion in terms of the time it takes to issue approvals and who gets approvals, and also where the accountability framework is weak. So interfaces with the public almost always are opportunities for rent seeking, such that it had become the case that business owners had to engage consultants who helped in navigating the deliberate roadblocks for a fee. Similarly, simple processes such as arrival and departures at our airports, passing through land borders, import and export processes, were also difficult experiences for users of those services. So the main implication of, of that situation was the effect on the economy. A difficult business environment simply means fewer investors, whether they be local or, or, or foreign investors, and fewer jobs and fewer opportunities. So this was the task that the president gave us at the inception of PEBEC. And fortunately for us, we had a smart, uh, energetic, and visionary team of young uh, people who you've seen already, who stood up a few minutes ago, led by uh, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale, who with this team and also of public and private sector members, designed the series of reform initiatives and now internationally recognized national action plans, the 60-day accelerators designed to coordinate the effective delivery of priority reforms in select MDAs every year. At the federal level, the PEBEC Sec Secretariat also actively supports 15 priority public-facing uh, public agencies, and, the track, and they also track 55 MDAs on the implementation of Executive Order 001 on transparency and efficiency of public service delivery and the Council's feedback mechanisms, which is the report.gov.ng. Uh, gov, uh, report Importantly also, we had the collaboration of several reform-minded heads of MDAs, many of whom uh, you saw standing a few moments ago as well, who were instrumental in the development and implementation of the plans. But most notable is the sustained collaboration across all arms and levels of government, including the National Assembly, the judiciary, and all sub-national governments through a partnership that we try to foster in, at the National Economic Council. In 2020, the work of PEBEC was further cascaded to the EBS to include local governments with the Abuja Municipal Area Council, AMAC, serving as a pilot. And I think the results have been remarkable. PEBEC, since its inception, has achieved the delivery of 150 reforms and completed reforms and uh, six national action plans, the 60-day accelerator plan. As a result, Nigeria has moved, as we've heard, an aggregate of 39 places 
on the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Index since 2019, and we were twice and were twice named as one of the top most uh, improved economies in the world in the last three cycles. And Nigeria has also been named one of the only two African countries to make that highly prestigious list in 2019. Similarly, the 2019 Subnational Doing Business Report on Nigeria recorded unprecedented improvement with a 100% participation of states in the right of reply exercise the World Economic Forum in its 2018 Global Competitive Report also recognized Nigeria's business environment as one of the most entrepreneurial in the world and highlighted Nigeria's improved competitiveness in the enabling business environment space. But we're still very far from achieving our objectives. And I think that that has been borne out also in what you've heard earlier this evening. There are several stubborn and malignant problems. There are still serious complaints about import and export delays. Uh, just recently, the agro-export businesses uh, came for a meeting with me, and they've made a strong representation on the difficulties that they're experiencing in the agro-export space and just being able to export their products. There are long waiting periods for product approvals, and we still experience those long waiting periods. Most of the problems come from systemic constraints or agencies and officials sometimes who fail or resist change. And, but I believe that most of these problems can be solved. These systems work elsewhere, and they certainly can work here. The problem sometimes, as I've said, is systemic. The heads, you know, the heads of MDAs commit to change, but down the line, the system either resists or is simply not well designed to function properly. So we must, in the coming months, work with the agencies to implement a more aggressive accountability audit. And uh, the, the report that we've just launched is really the first, the, 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 the first step in that, in that direction, where we identify the specific bottlenecks in the systems, possibly down to the particular desks where these problems arise. We may then come for agencies and officials who uh, have failed or resisted such changes. But the more important thing are the systemic changes that need to take place. Because by and large, most officials in public agencies will want to do their work well and will want to, do, and will want to deliver on their assignments. But sometimes the system is so convoluted that no matter what you do, you end up getting the same delays. I think the last few years have proved what is possible if we're hands-on and intentional in making it easy to do business in Nigeria. Unemployment in our country is over 30%. A minimum of 3 million new young people join the job market every year. Our priority as a government is to create jobs. And the biggest job creator, especially, uh, especially uh, in, in the private sector, of course, is small and medium uh, enterprises. We must ensure that they are not hindered from doing business easily so that they can produce the opportunities that our nation needs. So let me convey the appreciation of uh, Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, to members of the council, the PEBEC team, all MDAs and state governments for the excellent collaboration that has produced the great successes that we've had in the last five years. So let us take a moment to relish our accomplishments and leave here tonight renewed and re-energized for the work that lies ahead. Congratulations, everyone, and God bless you all. Thank you.